Greetings everyone. This is an earthquake watch for November 11 through to November 14. Just a quick update on recent earthquake activities. We did receive a 6.3 earthquake not too long ago in the southeast Indian Ridge. We'll have a look at this on the map shortly. And we also received the 5.2 event in Luzon, Philippines. Now this was in the area that I've targeted um, in my previous video. And we'll just have a quick look at that now. Um, this was a feature that I um, followed um, from the coronal hole. So we've got an event here. Um, and um, there still may be another event in this region, but um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we'll go back to the 6.3 event um, in the southeast Indian Ridge in between Australia and Africa. Now, it's quite important to note this. Um, we did have a coronal hole that formed straight after my video, probably about 12 hours or so after. And we'll have a look at the solar images now. Okay, we're looking at the latest SEO images. And what we're looking at here is a coronal hole that's formed fairly low down in the southern hemisphere. And it wasn't that noticeable. We just see it poking itself right there. So here is the, the coronal hole that disappeared and um, then reappeared. And it's quite interesting to note um, how this event took precedence over the larger coronal hole that I was targeting in um, north 28 degrees. We'll have a look at the um, the solar monitor. And from this, we could see the large coronal hole, which I perceive was going to be the first event, when in fact the lower reaches of this, and I'll just get a zoom in on this, the lower reaches seem to take precedence. Now this is quite interesting. Um, this, is sit this is sitting 45 degrees, uh, 45 to 43. So... If we consider that this was the first X-ray spike that was noticed and recorded on my previous video, that would mean that this event, or this coronal hole, fairly deep down, and we can just see it here, it's probably about south 60 degrees, we may get a large event which may correspond with the second X-ray spike here. Now if we don't get an event on this bottom part, if we just follow the line up, we've got another coronal hole above that's formed. Now, there's something that's um, in progress on the sun right now. We do have a filament eruption and a fairly sizable eruption and um, ignition points on the sun. And we'll have a look at the moving images shortly. Um, I'm going to target and plot this lower area um, as this is probably not too far away within the next 24 hours. Okay, we'll get straight into the um, forecast of the likely area. I'm looking at around about south 60 degrees with this and the Bellany Island sits just above or just below this. So I'm thinking that we're going to be getting a similar size event to the previous earthquake, 6.3. And Macquarie Islands is also conducive to fairly large quakes also. And we can see the fault line extending straight up. And that's where Macquarie Islands is right there. So this will be the number one area um, within the next 24 hours that I'll be watching for. And the main area of concern would be for the Sandwich Island region. Although the previous earthquakes have been about south 66 degrees, and um, I did mention in previous videos that this area has been activated, it appears that there is a, a clustering of um, volcanoes along this um, ridge, and there could be a potentially large event um, in this region. And although the it's around about five on both of these um, areas, I'm thinking we could be getting something a little bit larger. So that'll be the main concern for the next 24 hours. Okay, we're going to have a look at the Northern Hemisphere now, and it's quite important, um, and the reason why I've brought out the video slightly earlier, um, this was going to be for my, um, probably for after the a day or so, but I've decided to put it out now. Now, we've got a coronal hole that's just formed up here, but it um, doesn't seem to be a natural coronal hole. It seems to be created by the filament eruption, and, and it is quite important to note. Now, this coronal hole that I targeted previously we don't really have many earthquakes corresponding with this as yet, so we may be receiving some more effects from this. Um, I think it's past the now period, and we, we need to look ahead. And we did see an interesting anomaly on the sun, and we're going to have a look at that. Okay, here is the northern hemisphere, and I've got it on slow, so we can have a good look at it. Now, we can't see the coronal hole form at all, so it's, as it's pretty much non-existent. Now, we see an, um, an explosion right here on the sun. 
and then we see the coronal hole open up. So, and then we just in progress now um, are actually um, seeing a, a filament eruption in progress. So that's quite important because. Um, the last filament eruption like this, we did get a tsunami associated with it, uh, with the Indonesian earthquake. So, this to me looks like the very, very large X ray spike we received after the two big ones in my previous video. There was one 12 hours later that was um, much, much bigger. So, I'm thinking that we could be getting two more earthquakes, um, say three X ray spikes, and thus. Um, three large earthquakes and we've already received the 6.3 I'm thinking that we could be receiving another 6.3, 6.5 event um, deep down with my previous forecast um, Sandwich Islands and the Bellany Islands region and this is the main one that I'm targeting here and this is the most dangerous of the lot and it's sitting at north 24 degrees and I'm not targeting a, a coronal hole I'm targeting the ignition point that we're noticing on the sun and we see the SDO image shake and then right above my mouse you can see the very very large um, sort of like a slingshot effect on the sun and then the subsequent um, eruption up, up ahead and although we can't really see this is a filament um, eruption okay so based on my mapping is 24 degrees and 24 degrees is very dangerous mainly due to um, it does bring into play a lot of very serious areas that have been activated of late. Now, my main area of concern would be for Taiwan. Um, it sits right on 24 degrees and it is a land-based sort of feel to it on the sun. So that'll be the number one area. And there is a potential with this event of a tsunami as well. So we need to um, pay uh, close attention to this. <coughs> There is another region um, that's um, perhaps more sea based and that's the Volcano Islands and I have mentioned this in previous videos um, it does sit also at um, the same region at um, 24 degrees and extends upwards and low and below. The next area of concern would be the Gulf of California and it does sit at, um, it, it does extend right through and we have been seeing the main events um, last month occur at 23 degrees and a few little bits and pieces um, underneath. So 24 degrees will put this um, at risk as well. Although I don't think it's going to be a sea based event, um, it will be what I perceive as being land based. Now the other area and last of um, you know is in India. Now I know this area hasn't been activated, we did get a 4.5 event um, in this region um, which was slightly below my target area and I'm a little bit for some reason um, there is a lot of action going on in India um, action as in political action etc and I'm thinking that um, we could be receiving some sort of event in that region also so um, not sure what it could be um, but um, there is a, a sense that India may be um, I don't know, it just seems that um, it's just rather strange um, where this earthquake did pop up from. So this maybe this is a foreshock or something larger. Uh, maybe this is related to my previous um, um, coronal hole which was in Bhutan and Nepal. Um, it was slightly lower at 50, uh, sorry, 25.5 degrees and my area was slightly above in 28. So I'm just thinking that we could be receiving maybe something else in this region also. So. My main concern would be for Taiwan and the potential of a tsunami um, associated with it. The eruption on the sun seemed to show that um, it more likely may be perhaps the volcano islands with the slingshot effect going inwards towards Japan. So now it, it is interesting, there is a feature on the sun that we need to have another look at. Okay, now this coronal hole seems to be in an X. Um, usually the coronal holes that look like this are generally um, events that occur in the Japan region. Um, so that is another thing that sort of um, took my eye. However, after further observation, um, it's quite clear that this coronal hole was created um, from the uh, filament eruption. So I'm actually targeting this coronal feature right here. And it seems to be um, some form of 
um, land based event based on what I could see. Okay that'll be my earthquake warning video for uh, this week and I've got a feeling I will label this um, tsunami warning as well um, mainly due to um, the effects of this and the relationship associated with the um, filament eruption on the sun. So that's my earthquake watch for today. Thanks for watching.